Welcome back. Power. Tell somebody power. power. Oh, a female cell director told a man, I perceive twins. And they went to the hospital. The doctor took all the scopes and they did echography. And the echography said there are twins. As if, as if it's not enough, the baby came. The baby, on coming, the baby is disturbing. They went back to the former doctor who said it's twins in the cell. That she has been in labor up to now. You are the one who spoke to him. Finish it. She said in 15 minutes time, the baby will come forth. That can only be originated from power. Uh. And in 15 minutes time, all the babies, they could not hold it. Listen, if God has said Jesus will die and in three days he will resurrect, it doesn't matter how many demons are on Jesus. Hallelujah. When the third day comes, it doesn't matter where Jesus is. Jesus is where he is because it's still the second day. The demons are happy to him because it's still the second day. When it's time for the prophecy to be fulfilled. Oh, brother Salaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When that third day comes, then you will see the Bible said the spirit himself is going to be the one to raise him from the dead. God, the spirit was waiting for the prophecy that Isaiah gave. The prophecy that even uh, 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 Abraham gave right from the times of Abraham. The prophecy was given. So the earth was waiting for that time. And the devil thought he had succeeded. No. They're waiting for the right time. Those twin babies, they heard it in the realm of the spirit that 15 minutes has been given for us to stay here. Who is going first? Who is going first? And all of a sudden, at the 12th minute, the world have gone into the realm of the spirit. Brought forth better doctors who came and did spiritual operation. And the babies came up pew, pew, at the 15th minute. Hallelujah. And the babies were rushed here for Thanksgiving. Quietly, I'm talking of power. A man served a deal and the deal could not help. And the man had a personal nurse who also was in personal trouble. This man cannot walk. The man cannot see. Not when he come in contact with power. Paresu, brother God. Oh, we told the man was carried here. They carried him here. So, surprisingly, the meeting has already finished. When it seems as if it's an end, God makes it a bend. Yeah. Oh, you're not getting me. When it seems as if it is over, God makes it a cover. Yeah. It is not over till you get over. Yeah. When we prayed, many people walked and many people saw. We were sharing the grace. Some of you are in that service. Yeah. We were sharing the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. When we reach a part of the love of God, love came forth. Hallelujah. Some of you neglect opening prayer. You don't even know what you miss. Because you don't know where God will show up. All of a sudden, I want to hear St. Roderick. Sir, we have a testimony here. Which, when did that one happen? We have finished. No, the Holy Ghost doesn't get finished. There's never a time he can get finished. He always assure us that it is finished. No, he is finished. So the, the service may be finished, but he's just starting. The man walked by himself. Then I asked him, sir, can you see me? He said, yes, I can see you. Walk, let me see. We saw his body was full with sores. The man could walk for the first time. We saw a man who has been on a crutch for 50 years. Some of you are in church. 50, not 15. Semper Ken says, Senkante. Senkante. Now, this man was on this crutch, happy. You know, when you become long in sin, it becomes iniquity. <laughs> Longevity of sin is iniquity. That means you are not satisfied with it. When a man is poor for too long, it becomes his possession. He now knows how to manage it. I told you last time, when, you're in, when you are too long in darkness, you see. I don't know who got me. Let us just put this light off. Don't put it. I'm just assuming. Just put it light off. Pam! 
you will hardly see. When you enter some kind of places, the room is dark. People are dead, but you don't know. <laughs> now the room is dark. You only hear something that stand here. You don't see anybody. It's like somebody is speaking from fire. <laughs> it's like God is speaking to Moses through fire. So you just have to stand where you are. You just be hearing voices in your home. Then when you stay like five minutes, this man said they are appearing one after the other. <laughs> They were there before you come. Glory to God. It's not out of experience. It's what I studied in book. <laughs> Glory to God. I love everybody. <laughs> so, when you're in darkness for a long while, you see, you start seeing the people. You start seeing the people. Then after, it's like you are now darkness. When somebody now enters, the person doesn't see you. But you see the person. So when you're in that room for long, maybe a policeman enters or somebody enters. For some cop day for you. The cop is in front of him. He can't see it. You know where even a broom is. Just like, you know you see him? Give me a hand. Now, you see what I'm teaching you? What I'm teaching you is life experience. There are many people who have enjoyed poverty until it becomes a calling. They are not interested in any new job. You see a technician, even a soda iron is bad. He has been in that business for 15 years. The table he's using is burnt by soda iron. He sit there, no work is coming. Study the new part of the flat screen. No, he's still there with the small, small radio and turntable. Are you getting this? So, he struggles to have something to eat a day. He doesn't think that I can divert this stuff, if it's not moving, to a farm work. Learn to be flexible. Don't be stationed and start to squat. <laughs> Am I communicating? Be flexible. Open your mind to innovations. You will never be left out. I've applied here until I'm tired. Apply another side now. If you apply everywhere, you should be an application. Go to the farm. There must be something to do, brother. Am I communicating? Don't be in darkness. When you start experiencing power, you start moving your spirit. Am I communicating? Start experiencing power. Power is needed. Power is needed. A woman came here. She was barren. Attending the food of womb service, I did not touch her. I spoke from the altar. While the word was leaving the altar to the crowd, it called for a child in Zion. And took the child right into her womb. We saw a woman here who was pregnant without a womb. We saw a woman who became pregnant after the doctor said, it is fibroid you had. And the fibroid turned to fine boy. Power! Spirit of miracles, <laughs> spirit of miracles, crusade. We saw wheelchairs flying, wheelchairs. 20 years deaf and dumb, spoke. Deaf from bed, spoke. Power. Why? You are in a kingdom. What did the Bible say? This sign shall follow them in the kingdom. So if these signs are not following you, you are not part of the kingdom. If all you do is to be following the signs, you are following from outside. Am I communicating? Cameroonians don't run from immigration. It's foreigners that run. So if you are running, you're already telling us you're a foreigner. I mean you, I am I a foreigner? <laughs> Amen? So what am I trying to show you? If you see somebody who is still pursuing and begging for miracle, it means the person is not a citizen of our, our city. The Bible says, out of Zion, perfection of beauty, God has shine. I will show you that word beauty means, it means glory, perfection of glory. We are reaching uh, glory very soon. Hallelujah. I was telling one, one, one cell leader yesterday. 
You're a cell leader not because or you, you ought to go for power. You ought to pray for power. Not pray for power. You ought to build up yourself. Not because I want you to be casting demons in the cell. It's for you first. That's what people don't know. She's ushering now. He's ushering. It's for him first. What, what did the Bible say? He that must be great among you, let him serve. So when you see him serving you, he's doing himself good. He tells you, sit here, he wipes the chair for you. He's walking towards greatness. Before you come, the sanitary workers have gone down and they are mopping the floor. They are working for greatness. Am I communicating? I told the senator, build up yourself. Stop having unnecessary meetings. Build up yourself. Imagine when you first received Christ. The way you love God. The way you prayed. The way you worship. How you create time with God. But now, you're lukewarm. According to you, you are now master. You're a teacher. Grow up. Grow up. Are you still here? When you come up of age, you refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. That's what Moses said. Moses said, I've suffered by enjoying the things that are in Egypt. This day, I refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. I better suffer affliction. He ran from riches. There are some friends you must leave. And there are some friends that should leave you. Or else you will not go to where Abraham ought to go. Power. Tell somebody, Power. Power is needed. Power is needed. And power doesn't come by eating bread, you know? There are times, there are times you open the fridge, there's enough food, you close it and say, I want to fast. <laughs> Fasting is needed when there's opportunity to eat. Fasting is not needed when there's no food in the house, you convert it. That's hunger strike. How am I communicating? Fasting is needed when you know, can you imagine, somebody's mad until on the 20 feet, you're fasting. That's love. I've done only once in my 20-something life. Now, if you understand power, then you experience glory. What is glory? Glory is splendor. Beauty. What is beauty? To a moment, when, when she joins, according to her, they make her beautiful. They make her charming. So the way when she walks, you know, taxi drivers are hitting this way. Bike riders are going on the gutter. According to her. So they gave her that glory. When she talks to you, you can't hold it. You are sleeping like that. Your gas is burning. You don't even know you are thinking of something else. That's glory is working in you. Her glory. But when you come to the kingdom of God, there are some of us, only our passing by, we win souls. No, some of you don't know. Some of you, you, you know, there's a single you just dress. Okay, let's, let's, let's enjoy the glory. Let's enjoy the glory. Now you have understand the glory of the demonic world, right? And the natural man who wants to make glory out of physical beauty. I told you last time, uh, a commandant in, in Shaw, is he still a commandant? A president who is at the street, who is not in the palace, is he a president? A chief who is in the farm, is he a chief? I told you last time, wherever the chief sits is a throne. The throne is not a chair, it's an office. Glory to God. So wherever you sit is a throne. So if your own throne is determined by a chair, you'll get tired. Am I communicating? It's a quality. You attain the quality. And you remain there. Hallelujah. So your, your beauty, Peter said it should not be the physical adorning of the, the, the flesh. It should be from within. It beautify your outside. Now, when the glory comes, the least thing you do explodes. Anything you lay your hand on, it prospers. Hallelujah. Anything you come in contact with, you transform. That's who you are in LTM. Tell yourself, that's who I am. Yeah. If you know you have been blessed watching this message, send us your testimonies. Plus two three seven six seven eight eight six seven three six six or six seven eight 
706-117. You can mail us to Transformers TV or Yahoo.com. God bless you.